Hi everyone, this is Wendy. So I want to do another project for the creative design team for Arnie Vera Scrap and Craft and I've got this awesome, it's like a big tag, it's one of the, the Tim Holtz um, tags and this one actually measures like 12 inches by six and a half inches and I'm going to I'm going to use this um, I'm to sit on my desk and I want a little box at the front of it that I can put that I can put my cards in that I've made for this year and just any other little bits and pieces I need so um, it's going to be decorated and I think I might be painting around the edges too but before I start decorating this I want to make myself a, a box at the bottom of this so it will stand up and after I put the box on, after I have decorated the front, um, if I have any trouble with balancing, I'm pretty sure I could work it out. But I think it's going to work, okay? So I'm just going to put that over the side and I'm going to make my box first. I've just got a piece of cardboard here and it measures 10.5 by 5.5. So I'm going to score that, uh, yes I'm going to score it, so I need um, the width of this here is six and a half and I want like a little bit of a fold to go around the back as well which I'm thinking might only just like half an inch alright so what I'm going to do, I'm going to score this at half an inch. I've got the right one. That's a little one. Yep. Okay, I'm going to score that at half an inch. This is along the, the long side. Half an inch, then two and a half. Oh no, two. That's right. Half an inch, two. Because that's, I'm going to have a, an inch and a half for the sides then I'm going to come down here and score it at eight and a half and score it at ten dear I hope my measurements are right <laughs> they should be <laughs> okay then just flip it around and score this at half an inch and then at Two inches so that gives me the base and a little bit to fold under okay right now a little bit of cutting part, the large part here the six and a half inch part that is the base and that's the little part that gets folded at the back so to start with I'm going to just my to cut that up there just angle cut it so that I've got a nice little cut or just tape it in whatever you'd like to say I'm not sure what the proper terminology is and I'm just cutting it up to that join there or that fold there okay so that's the base this one here and that's the part that folds under now I don't really need these little parts here so I'm just going to snip those off there and I'll just angle cut that one just there as well okay so we've got that then do the same over here snip that off and this bottom part here okay. now I'll just fold these lines at all the 
score lines. And just give them a nice press down. Okay, so when that is put together, I can actually just glue these these end pieces here. I had a little blowout. <laughs> Okay, Ooh. and I may as well rub that out a bit too. Okay, so those two corner parts there can get folded onto the base. Just make sure I've got the sides straight here, so that one looks okay. And so does that one. Whoops. Okay. Press that down. All right. So, and these parts here, the little flaps at the side, they're going to get folded to the back of the box. Okay. Just they're going to be folded at the back like that. Okay, but I don't need to do that just yet because I'm going to decorate this here. Okay, so that is just, that box is going to sit on the front there. Just down the bottom there. Okay, should look good. Okay, alright, so I'll just put that up. And... Now to decorate the front, I thought I might like to use this paper here. It's the, the Maggie Holmes Heritage Handwritten Manual Script. I just really like this. It's got Life is Lovely, I Love This Together, Generations from the Heart. And because I'm making a holder to put the cards in that I'm sending out, I just thought this would be really lovely, um, like a little bit of inspiration. So what I'm going to do, I only want this on the front, so I'm just going to put my tag, I'll call it a tag, just line it up on the edges slightly and just grab a pencil. Okay, that'll do. It's not a pencil, it's a piece of charcoal, but that's okay. And just draw around the sides so I know where to cut. Okay. And then just use my scissors to go to do the angles up the top and across here and down there okay now that is going to sit on there um, and before I do that, I actually might just make sure that's lined up properly because I'm going to draw the circle out here and I think I might punch it. So, what size is that? I'm thinking that might be just a really good size if I if if it is, but it might not be big enough to go in, and it's not. And my other one is way too big for it as well. Okay, so it looks like that's going to have to be done by hand. 
So I'll get my blade. I just thought I could get out of it a bit easier, that's all. Okay, let me see how I went with that. Okay, that looks okay. A little bit rough, but it'll be okay. All right, now um, I'm going to distress the edges. I'm actually going to distress the edges on the paper. I've got just a little distressing tool here. And I picked this up at uh, one of the cheap shops up near me here on the coast. So I'm just going to run this down. And just distress the edge edges. Now I am going to just go around the sides with some gesso before I put this on. So I've just pulled out my gesso and I'll just grab a mat to go underneath and put that out of the road so I don't get any gesso on it. Okay so Okay, we got that down to just protect my oh my board there. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just go right round the edges. And I also will go inside this hole here at the top as well. Alright, so I've gone around the edges with the gesso, just white gesso, and they look okay. So I'm just going to just put a little rim on the inside just in case my paper doesn't cover it all, but I'm pretty sure my paper will cover it so but I'm just doing this for um, just to just to make sure okay, I think that looks good now I shall just let that dry okay how are we going that looks pretty good and it's rather dry too now Okay, so um, I'm going to put that on there. Oh, I do want to distress my little hole as well. So I'm just going to grab my blade. Oh, that should be right. And just run it round the inside. Scrape it against the edge. Okay, so I've got that distressed as well. What I'm going to do now is adhere the paper to my board. And I'm just going to use some of my um, matte deco glue. Just a wet glue, that's all you need for it. So I'm just going to... Um, just wondering if I might glue the back of the paper actually. Alright, so I'm just going to put glue on here. Whoops, and just tip it all over my table. Why not, Wendy? Okay, <laughs> it's a new year. We can do what we like, can't we? Goodness. Okay, so got that there. Bring it all the way down. Okay, 
the main thing is I do want it to stick so I'm hoping that this will will stick it will glue it down okay so got a good coating on that okay and around the hole just brush some of that off okay so let's put this on here line it up the best I can make sure it's covering everything before I press it down Too much, too much. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, that does look pretty good. So, let's grab my bone folder. I've got, oh, I've still got ink on my hand. That's okay. And just going to give that a good press on there. Sure there's no bubbles underneath it. Whoops. Which just got a bubble out then. Okay. Good. That looks really good. I'm going to let this dry just for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes. Okay, and I shall be back. I've popped back on. I started making a few of the little flowers that I'm going to be using on my large tag. They look so pretty. So all I did so far, I cut out a heap with the Kaiser Craft DIY Cuts Decorative Die and this is the Floral Daisy one. This cuts so well. I was really surprised because that's all in one piece which is really good because then I didn't lose any of the little bits. So it comes like that. That is so cool. I really, really like that. Okay, so that's what I used to cut all the daisies out with. I'll just pop that back in there. Um, now, I did have a note on this to say that it was out of stock at the moment, but I'm pretty sure if you get in contact with Aunty Vera, she may be able to get some more in, with, um, in for you. So, all I was doing... Um, I've got the three pieces cut out and I did go around and just put some of my vintage sepia just on the ends of them. I just like a little bit of inking on the ends of mine. It just adds something to it and even on these ones here I just rolled it round and just put some on the end and I've got one of these I'm really not sure what to call these um, I know they've got a special name it's got like a little ball on the end on both ends this one's a bit smaller than that one and I just gently press the die cut I've got a little bit of black foam underneath me and do like a little circular motion just so that it just raises that the petals up slightly. I didn't want to leave them all flat so that's why I decided to just do this okay and then I just grabbed a little bit of art glitter glue and just put a little dab on them put them down where I want them and that's the flower made then 
just as a little added decoration I'm going to use some of the Nuvo crystal drops and just put a very tiny drop might come in just a bit and I've got to remember to come back out again don't I <laughs> okay so just put a very tiny dot on each of those little pointy parts of the inside of the flower and then just put another drop right in the middle and just let that dry and that's the flower that's the flower. Looks pretty cool. I like it. Looks pretty. Here are all the really pretty little flowers that I'm not sure how many I'm going to put on here yet, but I did quite a few up. And now, because I'm still waiting for a lot of things to just dry. Okay, I think I'm right to put it all together now. Let me see if I can come out a little bit more without you seeing all the mess on my table. Uh, there we go. Okay, so um, I've got all these bits here to put on the box first. But what I'm thinking, this green is really going, even if just seeing the edges of it, it's really going to or is it maybe not I thought it was going to like dominate um, the color too much but I think it might be okay so what I might do is before I put um, my box on I also just cut some vellum butterflies uh, from the Kayser Craft happy life these little butterflies up here and I thought they might look good in between the flowers as well um, but then I was going through my Aunty Vera things that I've received this year and I've also got these flowers here up oh, flowers they're not flowers Wendy they're butterflies <laughs> I've got all the flowers up here that I just made so I've just been making flowers so what I thought, I might actually use those. Now these ones won't be on special in for January for this month, but um, they're still sold by Aunty Vera. It's just that I didn't use them, don't know why, but I found them, so I might be able to use them now. So you can see where I'm going with this. And I've got this piece here from... <sighs> okay, so I'm having a bit of a day because I'm here in my craft room and I'm doing projects out in the lounge room as well. So <laughs> I'm scattered everywhere. Right, so this was the paper that I made these flowers from. And this is the Keepsake Souvenir Memorial Paper. Um, I haven't cut, I've used the whole 12 by 12 virtually more or less and that's what this butterfly was from as well. But I'm going to cut around that butterfly and have it down here on my box. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to ink the edges on my box first just with my vintage sepia. Maybe just to tone down just the color a fraction so I'm just going to go all around my edges I um, I really should have stuck the things on before um, before I put this little part of the box together but that's okay alright so that looks alright and I'll do the same with these papers and then I can just glue them straight onto my box and these little pieces were cut from that paper as well which it's just got text on it but I thought it just fit in nice little contrast for the text that's on the front Okay, so I need some glue 
and I might do the side ones first. Put these ones on the side. So just centre it the best I can. There we go, so there's that one on there. And now for the front piece, I'm just going to put that one on there. And this one is going just on here. I want to get it on there pretty fast because this is pretty fast drying glue. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yep. So I'll just press that down. From the inside. Okay, so that is going to go on there. Now I'm just thinking, do I really want that to go at the back? I do, don't I? Yeah, I do. Alright, so okay, let's just keep our fingers crossed that I've done this right. So I'm just going to press them out and I'm just thinking I might put some double sided tape on these as well. Where's my thicker one? Is that too thick for that? Yeah, okay. I'll just put the thin one, just a piece right down the centre. Now I'll also put some glue on here as well. Now, um, this might be a bit hard for me to, to see or to hold. What I might do, um, get something with a bit of height and just sit underneath this for a moment, like so, just so I can level up this box down here and that's got to go down a little bit more okay so that gets pressed onto there so far so good okay and then these sides get pressed over there And this one gets pressed over that way. Okay, so that looks pretty good, doesn't it? A little bit of glue seeping out there, but that's okay. Now I'll just put that down there and press it from this side as well. And there is my box. Now, do I need to weight it? I think I do. Well, that's come undone there. Eh? Why has that come undone? Okay, so I'm just thinking I do need to weight the front of it uh, just a tad. <clears throat> but that's okay, that looks pretty good. Because it's got the hole here, I can always have it just hanging on my wall too, can't I? So that's going to dry, that looks pretty good. So that's my little box on the front of it. Yeah. Okay, that turned out a lot better than what I thought it did. <laughs> I thought it would. But um, it is because it's so high, um, it needs to be like weighted down just here at the front, just a little bit. And I can easily do that by putting just a piece of chipboard along the front just to balance that up a bit more if I need to okay but I don't need to do that just yet okay so there's my box on 
now I am going to start decorating so I'm going to have this butterfly down here on the front so I'll cut that out okay I'm back to start decorating this now and I've just put my hot glue gun on and I'm waiting for it to heat up and while I'm doing waiting for that I am just going to put some double sided oops drop my scissors drop them completely <laughs> I'm just going to put some double sided tape on this butterfly put some double sided tape on that alright so I'm going to decorate so I've kind of like have, have an idea in my head what I'm going to do so I'm going to start by putting a little bit of cheesecloth on here a cheesecloth just there and I was thinking of using some of this um, this is from my own supplies it's like a, um, a little ivy but I'm not sure if I should actually go and iron that out straight first no I don't think I will actually might just stick it down by the petals and that should be all right with the hot glue gun um, no I'm gonna go and iron it don't do things half-hearted Wendy <laughs> Okay, I went and ironed this little bit of trim that I had um, and just a note don't put it put your iron directly onto it because it will melt it like that a couple of those got melted but that's okay it's only a little bit um, I put some baking paper over the top okay all right so it's my hot how's my hot glue gun going I um I had to turn it off so I might just take a minute for it to get going again but it should be all right after that so I think I scared my husband because I screamed when <laughs> when that piece there stuck to the iron. I went, oh, <laughs> what darling, what? I said, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just melting my thing, melting my, um, melting my leaves. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to put little dabs on these leaves. And then I'm going to run that up the top as well. But I'm just going to keep working on the bottom part down here. So I want to put a couple of these little, these flowers on that I made and it really can't go any lower than the front of this box it can go out to the sides but uh, if I put it any lower I'm going to have to cut the bottom of the petals off so I'll work something out won't I maybe just about there Now that's sticking to me because I've got glue on my fingers. So we've got one there. And I'm just going to mix the colours up a little. Just need to make sure I don't go in too far for my butterfly. 
Okay, so that can go there. So that one can go just about there. And my butterfly will be going about there. And I'll bring another one of these colours up here. And I'm going to have a saying just down here. So that space won't be vacant at all. And just up there, I think. Now I can put my butterfly on. I put just thinking if I want it a bit higher. Hmm. So I can always put another layer on. No, I think I'll keep it a little bit lower. I'll keep it just with the one. But I will put just a smidge of hot glue on those as well. Okay, so my butterfly is going to go just about there. Okay, that looks good. I like that so far. Now I'm going to use a saying from the Tim Holtz Ideology Small Talk. And there's one in here that I like that says throw kindness around like confetti. So I'm just going to peel that off and back it onto something, I think. So I've got a little strip of that paper there, maybe back it onto that. So I'll link around the edges of this little saying. And cut around that so it's got a little border. And throw it away because <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> okay, I'll go around there. And I'm just thinking if I want to put a little bit of calico underneath that as well. I think I do actually. So I've got a small piece here that I can. How long's that? Will that fit on there? Oh, look at that. It was meant to be. Okay, so just for the length about there. And rip. Put that back. I'll just tidy up some of this mess here. Dear, it feels like I've been in here all day making this, but I know I haven't. Okay, I'm just pulling off some of the strands over my bin so I don't have to, won't leave it on my table. Alright, so I've got that. Is that too big? Now I think that's miles too big, Wendy. Yeah, it is a bit. Don't really want it that wide. Okay, so we'll start again. And I'll do another rip. Shall glue that onto there. Snip this end off here and then just fray it, I think. About there, I think. And we'll just fray this. Okay. Tidy that up just a fraction. And I'm going to put this one just right there. It's 
So I'm going to hot glue that one on. Just to make it easier. Right. Just there. Oh, that looks so pretty so far. Oh, I do like that. Okay. Now, um, so far, so good. Okay, so now I'm going to put like a row of flowers up this way. And I do want to put some of the cheesecloth around here. So I'll do that now. Okay, and I'll turn this around just so that I can see it a little better. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Straight up there. Okay. And I'm going to add some some more flowers. Okay, so I'm going to have to put this on to fast forward, I think, because my neighbour, well, one of the neighbours was going right off. Okay, so I'm going to put one just there on the side. It should be okay from the back. Just there. And just start to start to layer these flowers up along the edge here. Oops, stay there, blue gun. Might just put another another layer out this way. Now I can put that on there. I'm looking at this on the side now. And yep, that'll do. Will I put it there or let me see? I do need another little bit more green there, I think. So what I might do with this one is I might put it from there and just bring that up there so I'll cut this off here and this last one is going to go just there now I didn't really bring it up that high because I want to put like a bow in around there and I don't think I gave those edges a bit of colour either but that's okay. Alright so I'm just going to let those sit on there for a minute. Um, oh that looks nice, it looks so lovely. I've still got um, the butterflies to put on. Okay so far so good, oh that looks so pretty. I like it. I really like that. Okay, all right, I shall be back. I'm just going to have a little bit of a break. Okay, guys, I just come on to show you my finished tag. 
I don't think I can go out any further. Let me have a look. No, nope. there we go. Um, I did end up putting a few more little bits and pieces on um, some of these little things that I had in my own stash down there and some up there and I've got the butterflies there and I've just pressed that ribbon into the hole um, I haven't tied that on just yet mainly because I have got a darker blue ribbon like a bluey green ribbon that kind of matches this green and I just can't put my hands on it right at this moment but it's going to end up looking something like that I think it just turned out so pretty and I am actually going to hang it from my shelves here at the side I've decided because if I wanted to just have it standing up I'd have to put like a little you know the little cardboard triangle at the back so maybe down the road but I really love the way this turned out I just love it so it's just like a, a little place for me to pop my cards and envelopes in where I can store them for the year I think it just looks so cool. It looks so pretty. Okay, so that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please don't forget to go over and check out Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft for January. Uh, don't forget that the other girls on the creative design team have got different things than what I've got and their items are discounted as well for the month of January. Okay, you all have a great day and I will catch you later. Bye bye.